Today I'm going to see if I can adjust the size of my cowboy hat. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is my Stetson cowboy hat. It's a 4X felt in case you wondered. Now I think this is pretty similar for other cowboy hats, whether they're 6X felt or even the straw hats. But if they don't fit right, what you want to do is you want to stretch them, kind of form them, mold them. Kind of like I was as a lad. But the way you do that is with steam. Now, one of the things that you're going to need is a steamer. I just picked up this little steamer here. I've got it plugged in so it's warming up and it's a pretty standard home cleaning, personal use steamer. And I'm going to see if I can save myself a trip to the hat store and just steam this and size it at home. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to steam the inside. You've got the leather and the silk in here and basically you're just going to be steaming that and it's not going to make the felt here pliable. Now, the problem for me is that my head is weirdly shaped and while this I think is about the right size, it's too tight here and I've got space here and here. So it's more oval than it is round. And so what I want to do here is heat up, especially these sides where I'm going to pull out on it a little bit. So once I get it steamed up, I'm going to just kind of tug it this way because that's going to draw in the front and the back. And then hopefully we'll just give it a little tug because I don't want to overdo it. I just want to keep trying it and put it on and then when it cools off it usually will just stay in that position but I'm going to steam right around here and on the side right here and I might kind of try to get the steam to creep up to the front and the back there so it's a little bit flexible as I kind of pull it you know and pull that in but right now like I said I can press this on and I just have too much pressure it's kind of digging in right there a little bit you know I could wear it like this but why would you want to do that so you just gonna push this trigger down and hopefully it should shoot out a little steam Ooh, look at that. So this gets very steamy. Be careful with this. You can absolutely burn yourself. So what I'm going to do here is I am just going to aim it this way. And I'm going to give it a little steam on this side. And a little steam on this side. Tug a little bit here. Just give it a little try. Ooh, we're making progress. All right, a little more. A little tug. All right, as you can see, it fits, which is really nice because even though it took me a little while because I have a giant round head, I really had to kind of tug right where it was pinching, but fits great now, just goes on, no uncomfortableness and kind of even space all the way around, which is to say no space. So just fits really good now. And it took a little while, like I said, to stretch it. And you can see here, it's still a little wet. So the steamer that I used actually kind of sprays out a pretty good amount of water. And so it got a little damp up here, more so than I've seen in say the hat stores where they're steaming it themselves. They're not using that much steam, but it got a little wet, but I wasn't worried about that since you can wear cowboy hats out in the rain and whatnot. So I wasn't too worried that it was getting wet and I just let it dry off a little bit and it's almost fully dry now. You can still see it's a little wet, but it's only been a few minutes, but man, that feels great. And like I said, if you really needed to stretch it out, you needed to kind of mold it, you're worried about it shrinking back down again, you can get one of those hat stretchers and put it in there to keep the shape of it. But as it sits right now, this is perfect. And it's going to save me a trip to my local boot barn or Shepler's or something like that to have it fitted because it's not that easy to do. You got to drive there, you got to wait in line. It's just nice to be able to do this at home. It's pretty simple. A little steam, a little elbow grease, and I'm good to go. So that is how you stretch and fit a felt hat at home. If doing this on your own is going to make your life a little better, I'll put a link to the steamer in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.